the ultimate ruling and why uh, they actually wound up s spending life sentences um, because the judge ruled the sexual abuse case uh, impossible between two men. Sexual abuse had to be between a man and a woman. And um, that's absolutely disgusting. And I think that that is the only saving grace for them to go back to retrial in 2020. I really do hope that this shines a light on this case in a way that hasn't been seen before and uh, gives people a space to really empathize and feel for these guys. I would love to see them both walk free. That's a lot because I'm playing him right now, you know? Uh, I don't know that I would feel that way if I wasn't playing him right now. But I, I think that uh, the ultimate ruling is so up, I'm sorry I'm saying that right now, that something needs to be done about it. It's not okay. The like actual ruling itself to say that a gay man can't be raped is disgusting and needs to be fixed immediately. I feel pretty confident in what happened playing this character. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna feel once I see the movie or afterwards or when they have the chance to go back to retrial in 2020. Like right now I feel like justice was served. Do I agree with it and the act of justice? No, absolutely not. But can I understand it? Yeah. The news stations kind of told the same story. It's like this, these rich kids killed their parents and uh, and then in the second trial, they didn't allow cameras in the courtroom because there was just such a big fanfare. The, the, the jury was a hung jury, so they, they had to go to another court case on it. And, and the judge did not allow the cameras and couldn't, or it didn't allow any testimony about abuse, which that surprised me because if that's part of their defense, I don't understand why they weren't allowed to use it. I do think that there was something going on. While watching the trial, there were times that I could see them responding where it seemed like they were making stuff up or maybe lying to help corroborate their story. But when they testified about the abuse, especially Lyle, when Lyle testified and he was extremely emotional, they'd have to be very good actors. And I'm, I'm an actor, so it seemed very, and, and sometimes just good acting is telling the truth. And so I think they were, telling the truth in that case. So I, I think something happened. I don't necessarily believe that abuse is an excuse for murder. They killed their parents and that they should serve time for that. But is abuse an excuse, I guess? I, I, I think that the abuse was real, personally. I just think that they wouldn't be good enough liars to pull that off.